All right, fifth grade, so it's time for our final details. Um, I'm pretty happy with my picture. Um, you can see how this water has impacted this natural bridge and see my transformed environment. <clears throat> you can also see that things that are farther away are darker, things that are closer up are lighter. Uh, so the very last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add my graffito technique. So I'm going to start out by just putting a little bit of this black down. And when you're doing a graffito texture, um, you need to make sure that you're adding a lot of paint and that you keep that paint wet while you're doing it. So I'm going to come around and to add just a little bit more black to this. And I almost never recommend using straight up black, like without mixing it into anything else. Uh, you're going to have a lot of issues blending it in later and making it actually work with your picture. So I'm just making this look like it's a rail. So this is going to be coming around there. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to show the rail here. All right, so I can also do it over here just a little bit. Remember, as things are farther away, it is darker. So, and they're also smaller. So I can do this and do my little tick marks. Okay, guys, um, so you've seen pretty much all of your techniques applied in some way uh, to your picture. You don't have to add people. I would actually recommend not doing it. In the image that I was working off of for this, there was some people standing over here, but as you see, I chose not to incorporate those um, so I could have a stronger picture at the end. So these are your painting techniques. Um, you need to include them all uh, and make sure you are covering everything with paint.